The Earth is orbited by a celestial body we call the Moon. Its existence affects life on our planet. For example, the ebb and flow of the tides can be traced back to the Moon. But what if we told you that the Earth might have a secret second Moon? You'd probably think we were crazy. Because how could an entire celestial body be kept secret? Assuming that this second Moon were similar to the known Moon, We'd have to agree with you, of course. However, in this video, we want to take a closer look at the historical considerations of a second moon and its hypothetical existence, revisiting the possibility. If you like our videos, feel free to support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and stay tuned for more fascinating videos in the future. Where would a second moon exist? A celestial body is called a moon when it orbits a planet in a fixed orbit. For this to be possible, the planet's gravitational pull must be strong enough to stabilize the orbit. The area where the gravitational pull is suitable is called the Hill Sphere. In the case of the Earth, a moon within the Hill Sphere could be a maximum of 1 million miles away. Our known moon, for example, is only a little more than 236,000 miles from the Earth. However, thanks to today's modern technology, an object within the larger distance should be clearly visible, provided a size of several feet in diameter is exceeded. Thus, it might already be probable that no second moon exists today. We would have seen it. But let's take a look at the previous research on the subject. French astronomer Frédéric Petit. In 1856, the French astronomer Frédéric Petit announced the discovery of a second Earth moon. This moon, he said, orbited the Earth at a ridiculously small distance of only seven miles and should have, therefore, an orbital period of only two hours and 44 minutes. Contemporary colleagues showed great skepticism. On the one hand, nobody had succeeded in observing the moon. On the other hand, these data would be simply impossible considering the air resistance. Nevertheless, Petit stuck to his statements and was convinced of his claim. This scientific discourse was also reflected in literature. Jules Verne was inspired by the idea of a second moon and has a spaceship collide with this celestial body in the book Journey Around the Moon. German astronomer Georg Waldmatt. In 1898, Georg Waldmatt from Hamburg took up the idea of a second moon again. He predicted a transit of this celestial body in front of the Sun. However, this was not observed by a single professional astronomer. Numerous amateur astronomers, however, believed to have seen this transit. In fact, they may have only seen sunspots. Nevertheless, in 1918, the transit of the moon in front of the sun was thematized again. The Englishman Walter Gornold, better known by his pseudonym Safariel, wrote that a second moon actually exists. However, it's such a dark object that no one can perceive it. Observation can only succeed during the short time span of a transit before the sun. He called the moon Lilith. This biblical name still inspires a lot of hobby astronomers convinced of the existence of a second moon. In fact, the celestial body that Safariel described is physically impossible. Any optical radiation would have to be absorbed as heat, whereby the celestial object would have to be visible in the infrared range. The Theory of the Destroyed Second Moon all proposed theories were disproved. So scientifically, today it seems clear that no second moon exists. The exception of an unrealistically small moon with a diameter of some feet can probably be tossed aside. However, what about the possibility that there might have been a second moon in the past? Scientists have addressed this issue as well. 
In the year 2012, the theory was propagated that after the formation of the Earth, a second moon had actually existed. But only a relatively short time later, we speak here nevertheless of millions of years, the two moons must have collided with each other. The smaller of the two was completely destroyed. The bigger one, our moon today, was covered with craters. This should explain, above all, how different the cratering is on the front and back of the moon. This theory was considered very plausible for a long time. In 2019, however, a new thesis was proposed, according to which a dwarf planet hit our moon and disfigured it in such a way. There is no agreement here. We remain very curious about further research on this topic. Even if there is currently no second moon, it would be incredibly exciting to know if there was one in the past because it would mean completely new conditions on the Earth of the past. We imagine, in any case, such a world would be insanely exciting and fascinating. Celestial Bodies Called a Second Moon In the scientific environment, the existence of a second moon is rejected. Great importance is also attached to correct speech. But then, Non-scientific media is less careful. Often different celestial bodies are falsely called a second moon. Above all, asteroids, which cross the Earth orbit, fall into this group. However, these orbit the Sun and not the Earth, therefore the designation as moon is wrong. In addition, there are smaller asteroids attracted by the Earth for a short time. They might change their solar orbit and actually orbit the Earth several times. However, these never take a stable orbit and therefore cannot really be called a second moon either. But even in the scientific environment, the designation as a mini-moon has become common. Somehow cute, nevertheless fundamentally wrong. The asteroid Crunia was also called a second moon. However. This is an object which orbits the Sun, whose orbit is only partially influenced by the Earth. Such co-orbital objects are extremely rare. Crunia is the only one which, thanks to its orbital period of almost exactly one year, has been mistakenly called a second moon. A second moon in the near future? So far in our video, we have summarized the stand of research on a second moon in the past. We have also discussed the possibility of a long-gone second moon. It's time to turn our attention to the future. By that, we don't mean a science fiction style future, but a realistic and timely future. What would you say if we claim that the Earth will actually get a second moon within the next century? What sounds far-fetched is actually reality. The center of attention is the asteroid 2003 YN107. This is an inconspicuous celestial object. It's mentioned in particular because of its orbit around the Sun, which is very close to the Earth. Scientists assume that it's part of the Earth, or the current Moon, which was blown off during a collision with a meteorite. The latest research supposed that the asteroid 2003 YN107 is more and more attracted by the Earth. That's why its orbit is shifting. The attraction of the Sun then becomes smaller and smaller, so that one day it will be completely captured by the Earth. If this happens, the celestial object orbits the Earth and can rightly be called the second moon. Previous predictions show that this scenario is likely to occur as early as 2120, less than 100 years from now. The Possible Effects of a Second Moon Exactly what the orbit of the coming second moon will be, how long its orbital period will be, and the relationship between the two moons is still the subject of numerous studies. Also, the effects of the new moon on the Earth are uncertain. In any case, the idea of the second moon has already been extensively discussed in science fiction literature. And we hope that the effects on Earth will not greatly alter our planet, because then life on Earth, as it exists at present, 
could be considerably impaired. We have explained quite clearly that it is currently almost impossible, according to the latest state of knowledge, that a second moon exists. However, a second tiny moon could have remained hidden from astronomers' searches to this day. The theory of a second moon in the past is controversial. The collision of two moons might be a credible consideration, something that would explain the pronounced craters of our moon. But there are investigations that propose other, more plausible causes for this. That the Earth will get a second moon in the near future, however, is almost certain. However, a lot can happen in the coming hundred years, and the coming moon could be deflected from its course. What's your opinion on the whole subject? Do you believe in the destroyed second moon theory? Do you hope that Earth will be orbited by a second celestial body someday? And most importantly, how do you imagine life on Earth with two moons? What changes can we expect? Share your thoughts with us in the comments. We're very curious to hear your theories and look forward to an entertaining discussion.